Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. If we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a nice, gentle, full body flow for strength and flexibility. So find just a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's begin today in just a nice comfy seat and you can actually bring your hands to the floor beside you. Lightly rest the fingertips. Let's take a nice big inhale and lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, soften your shoulders. Ah, with your next big inhale, start to reach your arms out wide. And all the way up above your head, you can lift your chin if you'd like. Maybe even interlace the fingers, turn the palms to face up. Just stretch and lengthen through the upper body. Nice, you guys. Stay here for an inhale. Push those palms up. And let the exhale ah, bring your arms all the way back down to the floor beside you. Lightly touch the fingertips and take a big inhale. Reach your arms back up. Maybe interlace the fingers. Maybe in. Look up. Ah, breathe. Take one more inhale. And exhale. Let the arms fall back down towards the floor. Lightly tap those fingertips in one more. Big breath in. Reach those arms out wide. Spread the fingers. Ah, turn those palms to face up if you'd like to interlace. Lengthen your spine, maybe lift the chin a little higher. Hmm. One more inhale and exhale. Ha, ah, let your arms fall back down to your sides. Beautiful, you guys. You can place your hands on your knees or in your lap. Take another breath in to reset, lengthen your spine again. Soften the shoulders on the exhale. Close your eyes if you haven't already. And let's find our breath. While we find some stillness throughout the body. Hmm. Really feel and focus on the next inhale you take. And feel that exhale. Maybe softening through the forehead. As well as the jaw. And just take this time, these next few moments, to slow down, let go of your day. Just be right here, right now. Nice for you guys. Take one more full breath. In and out. Nice job, you guys. You can keep your eyes closed or you could open up, but our hands are gonna rest on our knees. We're gonna do a little seated cat and cow. So I want you to take an inhale and start to lift your chest, pull the shoulders back, lift the chin a little bit, and exhale, start to drop the chest, pull the shoulders forward and round through the spine, bringing your chin towards your collarbone. As you inhale, lift that chest again, maybe the chin. And exhale, slowly round it, Ta. pull the shoulders forward, tuck the chin, squeeze the tummy, and inhale, lift the chest again. Pull those shoulders back, open it up, and exhale, round that spine. Oh, nice job, you guys. Using an inhale, just find a nice, long, neutral spine. If you'd like to add in a shoulder roll, you can definitely do that right now. Ah, and maybe one more. Hmm, nice job, you guys. We're gonna bring our hands to the floor in front of us, setting up tabletop. So make your way onto your hands and knees, <clears throat> spreading your fingers nice and wide. Let's tuck our toes, take a big inhale, and exhale, lift on up into downward facing dog. So look at your fingers for a second, spread those fingers wide, push into your palms, and then start to shift your gaze towards your toes. And I want you to see, notice right now, if you can see your heels. And if you can see your heels between your feet, just turn them out a little bit. Kind of like you want to turn the toes in and the heels out so that they're hiding behind the rest of your foot. And then from here, you could kind of take your dog for a little walk, pedaling the feet, or it might actually feel good to lift both heels at the same time and then drop them down, pushing into the palms to get into those shoulders. <sighs> Let your head be heavy. And if it doesn't feel good to move in your downward dog, just stay still. Just breathe, whatever you're doing. <sighs> 
wherever you are. Take a couple nice big breath in and out. Awesome, you guys. Easing and inhale. Start to look forwards. Exhale. Walk your feet all the way up to the top of your mat. With an inhale, lift halfway, lengthening through the spine. Exhale as you fold. Inhales come all the way up to standing. Reach up, look up. And exhale your hands through heart center, down to your sides. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, take your half lift, lift that chest, lengthen. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, let's come all the way up again. Reach up, look up. Exhale, as you lower your hands in front of your heart, down to your sides, and a nice big breath in to reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. This time we're going to plant our hands and step on back into your downward facing dog. So push into your palms. Maybe look at the fingers for a moment. And then start to shift your gaze towards your toes again. Just turn those heels out slightly. If you can see them between the feet, try to hide them between the rest of your foot. And then maybe lift and lower those heels a couple times. See if you can get a nice stretch for those ankles, maybe the calves. But all the while, pushing into the palms to send the chest back towards your toes as well. So you might be doing a full body rock forwards and backwards as you lift the heels and lower those heels. <sighs> nice job, you guys. Take an inhale, look forwards again. Exhale, walk or step your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. <sighs> inhale, let's come all the way up. Reach up, look up. And exhale, lower your hands in front of your heart, down to your sides. Nice big inhale, reach your arms up again. Exhale, tip forwards. <sighs> inhale, half lift. And exhale to fold, plant your hands. Let's step our feet back into downward dog. One more time. Not here as long, but just quickly turn those heels out a little. <sighs> Look at those toes, maybe rock the hips. Maybe find some stillness. <sighs> Just one more breath in and use the exhale ha, to bring your knees down to your mat. Set up your tabletop so you can adjust. You can slide the wrists so they're right underneath your shoulders. Spread the fingers wide. We're going to extend our right leg out behind us. So tuck those toes. Push the ball of the foot into the floor. You might stay here. I want you to wake up the body though. So try to send your heel backwards to whatever's behind you. Push into the palms a little more. Even draw the belly button back towards your spine. If you want to add your left leg and find a full plank, you can add your left leg. But let's send our heels back towards whatever's behind us. Draw the tummy in. Nice, you guys. One more inhale. And use the exhale to bring your knees back down into your tabletop. Maybe rock the hips side to side. Nice, you guys. Start to extend the left leg back. So you can do one leg, left leg this time, or you can do both. Up to you. Either way, either way, push into the palms. Wake up your entire body. Draw your belly button in and send one heel or both heels back. Nice, you guys. Breathe, getting a little warmer. Ha! One more big inhale. And use the exhale to bring your knees back down to your mat. You can sit on your heels for a second, maybe take a couple wrist circles. Nice, you guys. All right, we're going to come to standing on our knees. So you can bring your right leg out to the side. Maybe just bring your hands down to the floor for a second. But bring your right leg out. See if you can point your toes somewhat forwards and find your balance here. And then we're gonna bring our hands back down if you did lift up. Uh, uh, uh. So we're gonna keep our hips nice and high. You can keep your hands on the ground or you can drop your chest a little more, coming onto the forearms or maybe you wanna start to walk your hands towards your foot. So walk your hands over. You do not have to grab your foot. You might be able to. And if the left shoulder wants to just rest and you can rest your head as well and relax a little bit, try to drop it all the way down. 
Maybe feeling a little love through that extended leg, maybe feeling that left shoulder. And then if you are kind of reaching for your foot, let's think about twisting. So turning the chest to the right, maybe that right hand wants to find your hip and you want to open that chest a little more, or you could reach your arm up for the ceiling. Just breathe. Maybe feeling a nice twist, but maybe also feeling the shoulder and the leg a little more. Nice, you guys. And if you are in that twist or you've got an arm reaching up into the air, slowly start to bring it down and use an inhale to lift your chest all the way back up. Awesome, you guys. You can bring your right knee into the side. Bo has made his way onto my mat. How lovely. <laughs> and we're just going to switch. So come on up. Bring that left leg out. Try to point those toes forwards as best you can. You're just going to deepen that stretch to get through your leg. If you point those toes a little more forward, if it works out, and you can drop your hands back down. Maybe staying on the hands, maybe just dropping to the forearms, or maybe you want to walk your hands over towards your foot if you do not have a doodle that's in the way. <laughs> and you can drop your, your right shoulder down towards the floor, <sighs> maybe starting to turn the chest to that left side a little more. And you can lift that left arm up <sighs> or keep it down, whatever feels good. Nice work, you guys. If you're twisting, if you've got an arm lifted up slowly, come back. And let's all use an inhale to lift the chest and bring our knee all the way back in. And we're going to set up our tabletop. So maybe a little rock side to side with those hips feels good. We're going to do that plank one more time. Option to be on your forearms. If it's too much to be on the palms or if you just prefer to be on your forearms, you can come down onto your forearms. But let's start with the left leg this time. Extend it out behind you. Think about sending that heel backwards. That should wake up your leg. Squeeze your tummy in and then maybe add the right side as well. Maybe not. Just nice and strong, but make sure you're breathing. <sighs> nice, you guys. One more inhale. And use the exhale to bring the knee or knees back down. Take a moment and we're going to switch sides. Nice and short holds for our planks today. Extend the right leg back. Send the heel back. That's going to help wake up the nice strong core that you have. If you want to add the left leg, add it. Send your heels back. <sighs> Breathe. Push into your palms or your forearms. Take one more inhale and an exhale let it go bring your knees down sit on your heels take a second maybe add a couple wrist circles ha maybe just take a nice big breath in and out nice you guys we're gonna find a nice comfy seat well not a nice comfy seat <laughs> kind of bring your right leg out in front though and bring your left foot to your inner thigh so with a nice big inhale, let's find a long spine. You can point your toes up towards the ceiling and exhale, folding forwards. Get a nice stretch for that right leg. While you also slow down the breath. Awesome, you guys. Let's use an inhale and lift the upper body all the way back up. And then I want you to send your left leg out. So we're just going to roll onto our left hip a little bit here. We're just going to play with our side plank for just a few short moments. So you can be on your forearm or you can be on your palm. But just either make sure your elbow is underneath your shoulders as best you can. And we're going to lift our hips up for our side plank. So you can either have both of your legs out long, lift those hips, or you can keep this bottom knee down and that leg bent. Use it as a little kickstand. Either way, lift your hips, maybe reach up with the right arm, 
and maybe lift the top leg. Nice, you guys. Can you flex the foot of your top leg? Take another big inhale and use the exhale to relax and gracefully place your hips back down on the floor. Just pivot your way so that your left leg can be out and your right foot can find your inner thigh. Take an inhale and an exhale to fold. Soften the shoulders again. Slow down the breath. Just relax. Awesome, you guys. With an inhale, slowly lift on up. You can send your right leg out or keep it bent. We're going to pivot to that right side, though, and do our last plank of the day. So make it your best, either from your palm or your forearm. You can have that bottom knee down. You can have both of your legs out long, but just lift those hips. Maybe reach the arm up and maybe lift the top leg. Can you flex the top foot if it's down on the floor or if it's lifted? Nice, you guys. Stay for an inhale and let the exhale whoo, gracefully, gracefully bring you all the way down. And then you can just turn to find a nice seat again. Keep both of your legs out long this time. Maybe have a bend in the knees, but take an inhale to lengthen and an exhale to tip forwards. Keep your spine long if you have any discomfort through that low back. But if it does feel good to round a little bit, you can round only if it feels good on your back. <sighs> Keeping that chest proud, the spine long, if there's any discomfort there. And just slow down again. All the strength work is over. Nice job, you guys. Let's use an inhale when you're ready to lift the upper body back up, lengthen your spine. You can bend the knees, you can plant your feet. We're gonna roll all the way down onto our backs. And you might want to do a couple rocks side to slide, give that low back a bit of a massage. <clears throat> but keeping your left foot down, we will be crossing the right one over top of that left leg. And you can keep your left foot down or you can lift it up. Figure four, recline pigeon, I like to call it. Get into that right leg and glute. Just hugging the legs towards the chest just until you feel the love. Nice job, you guys. Let's stay for an inhale and use the exhale to release. Uncross the legs. Maybe a couple rocks side to side if you'd like. And eventually switching sides, crossing the left foot over the right leg. Maybe hugging the legs towards the chest. Hmm. Just connect back with the breath if you've started to forget about it. Close your eyes. Let's stay for an inhale <clears throat> and let the exhale bring the legs all the way down. Uncross your legs. Add a couple rocks side to side if you'd like. You can keep your feet planted or you can pull your knees into the chest. <sighs> If you'd like happy baby, let your knees come out wide. 
find the feet. Maybe hanging on to just the big toes or the outside of the feet. And the eyes eventually starting to let the legs go, feet to the floor. You can even start to walk your legs out nice and long. If you feel like you need a twist, you can move into a twist. A little limited for space at the moment. <laughs> so if you're going to follow with me, just send your legs out long. Let's rest our arms at our sides. Walk your fingertips down towards the bottom of your mat and let your palms flip back over to face up. We're gonna take three breaths together as we just start to settle into Shavasana. So exhale out all of your air. Take a nice big inhale through your nose if you can. Exhale out your mouth. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale at the mouth. One more big inhale. Exhale. And just letting your breath return back to its natural rhythm. where you don't have to put any effort into it, it just is. Allowing your body to find stillness. And maybe your mind can find some stillness as well. I encourage you to stay here for as long as you have time for today. And thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, namaste.